So for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I've been going on and on about my upcoming setup video. I'm super excited to show it to you. But in this video, I want to show you some pieces of tech that you can use to take your setup to the next level. Let's get started. So let's kick things off with the G231 Prodigy. It's originally designed for Xbox One and PS4, but it also works for Windows, Mac, and Android. It costs $70, and for that, it is sturdy, if not slightly on the plasticky side, but it makes up for it in terms of its comfort and sound quality. Whilst it doesn't exactly have super plush cushions, they're light and airy, and they cut the ears well, and there's a decent amount of isolation too. The sound is super bassy, but also has a very spaced out feel to it, which makes it great for games, detecting footprints and whatnot, but also surprisingly enjoyable for listening to music with. Next up is the Logitech K780, and this was just released a couple of weeks back. So I absolutely love the way it looks. It's got a really clean aesthetic, even if it's not the slimmest or lightest device. It's not got mechanical switches, and the keys are an unusual circular shape, but I actually found typing on this to be super fun, and you pick up speed very quickly. But the real selling point here, the reason why I recommend this for a setup, is that it can connect to anything. You can pair it with your phone, your PC, your laptop, anything, and it will just work. So this one keyboard will sort you out entirely. So something which is an absolute essential and something which is strangely overlooked when it comes to setups is a Wi-Fi extender. And in this case, I'm going to recommend this one from TP-Link. What it does is it plugs straight into the main socket next to your PC and it just retransmits the Wi-Fi signal. It takes like a minute to set up and does make a noticeable difference to your signal strength. Obviously, if your Wi-Fi is bad as it is, then this is not going to save it, but it helps to remove any bottlenecks. And then we have the Tilt Charging Station. And this thing is a little saviour. It was actually voted at CES, one of the most innovative products, and I can see exactly why. So all it needs is one power connection to the wall, and for that it offers five, and I repeat, five fast charging USB ports. So each one of these delivers 2.4 amps, which can charge any smartphone at up to twice its normal rate. It's also got a built-in 3200mAh battery, which automatically starts charging when you plug the power in. And while the design might seem a little bit unconventional, it's well thought out because it actually lets you hide all the cables. So then we've got the UE Boom 2, and it's a Bluetooth speaker, which may seem like a bit of a strange addition to a setup, but for those of you on a slightly lower budget who can't afford perhaps a full speaker system, this is an awesome choice. Because it's based off Bluetooth, you're kind of getting a double-edged blade here. Not only are there no cables, so it makes your setup look cleaner, but it also means you can connect from anything, so your phone, your tablet, and your laptop. What's also nice is that it spreads out the sound, because the speakers aren't all concentrated in one part of the product. It's loud, bassy, and very good sounding. So then we have a lava lamp. And yeah, it's quite a traditional item, but in a modern setup with a nice casing, this can really take it to the next level. Now bear in mind, there are a lot of knockoffs out there. You can get a lava lamp for $20, $30, but I wouldn't recommend it. Not only do the bulbs last about 20, 30 hours, but it's also not particularly safe and they can start leaking. So spend the extra and get it from the original manufacturers. So anyway guys, that's it for me for now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you build a kick-ass setup of your own. And if it does, be sure to tweet me, let me know, show me your setups. I'd be really interested to see. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.